What's up, YouTube? Since you are watching this video, you've probably seen YouTuber Drew is sharing's public THC testing series in the United Kingdom. Well, we're here today to bring it down under. So we're conducting a study throughout different cities in Australia, finding out the potency of cannabis buds on the street. We're here in Canberra, in Australia's capital territory. It's been decriminalized for three years. People are growing their own stuff legally. We have our cannabis analyzing machine, and we're about to hit the streets and conduct a study to find out the potency of the product available here. Okay, we're here at a residency in Canberra. Cannabis is decriminalised here, but the lady providing the samples that we'll be testing today wish to remain anonymous. So we'll go through a bit of info about where these buds originated and what she expects the results to be, and we'll let you know what they test at. Yeah, I've been told that they're two different samples, but they look quite similar. And so do you get these from the same supplier? Yeah. Do you know the strain names of them? No idea. <laughs> do you know where it was grown or how? Melbourne, and I'm pretty sure it'd be Hydro. I was. Brought from Melbourne. Brought from Melbourne. Yeah, so yeah, I got, got it from there. When using a grinder, you don't want to put your buds over that middle part and try to keep them away from the edge, and that'll ensure that you can continue using your grinder for as long as possible without having to deep clean it. So this stuff seems to be quite dry. It smells quite strong. Is this the same cannabis that you consume regularly? Yeah, that's what I've been supply? consuming for the last couple of weeks. What do you think it will test at? Do you know much about THC ratios? I know that it gets me high and I've got quite a high tolerance, so it'd be right. good. Okay, yeah. well let's find out. Alright, so we have a total THC rating of 26%, a total CBD rating of less than 2%, a moisture rating of 15.3 and a water activity of 0.3. So this one smells a lot stronger. We'll chuck sample two into the grinder room. This is a Australian owned company that makes these metal grinders. Great quality. Anyone who comes and attends our anonymous public testing sessions gets a free one. tested at 25% THC, less than 2% CBD, a moisture rating of 17.9 and a water activity of 0.7. This seems to be some of the strongest stuff that we've tested so far. We'll go out and get some more samples and we'll work out the average. We've found a test subject to let us analyse the potency of their flower that's grown here in Canberra. I guess there's still some issues with the stigma and association with cannabis even with decriminalisation so the person who grew this stuff didn't want to have any interaction on camera. This strain is known as Critical Kush. It was grown hydroponically here, but let's put it to the test and see how this goes. Given a total THC rating of 19% and a CBD content of less than 2%, we're going to be testing the three different outdoor legal grown cannabis strains. So we have Mulloway, bloke from Nimbin. He made this, right? Mulloway Medical Cannabis. Mulloway is the first strain of legal outdoor grown Canberra cannabis. We have King G and we have Big Lady. So what do you think these will test out in terms of their THC CBD content? Highest, middle, lowest. Okay, we'll put this to the test. Uh, we'll start with the lowest, I guess. So this is the King G. Smells quite strong. So this obviously won't give you 100% accurate results like you would get out of a lab test such as what the Lambert Initiative was doing recently. This should be somewhat of a good indicator. Right, so that one's reading as less than 2% total THC with a CBD rating of 10%. That would be roughly in order, yeah. That is more for mental health type issues, anxiety, maybe sleep. So that's the King G Legal Canberra Outdoor Cannabis. Oh, I like the lab coat. <laughs> yeah, we're conducting official studies here. This is university edition. <laughs> lab coat. When you talk about the order that you put them in, are you basing this on a THC content or a CBD content? THC, or the reverse for CBD. So you expect this to be the highest in CBD and this end to be the highest in THC? Correct. We have discovered that sometimes you need to use multiple strains for an ailment, as in we had a user use Big Lady, didn't work. They then tried Mulloway and it didn't work either. And I made a mistake and mixed the two together. They tried the combination, hey, it did work. So it must be the entourage effect coming into play from all of the different cannabinoids. But through your trial and error, you discovered something new. 
Mm. Mm. That is typical of cannabis, is yeah. that if you're not prepared to trial and error, forget it, it's not going to work for you. And how do you see the consistency in each strain with a cultivator? Because of lack of testing facilities, we've got no idea. So it is purely guesswork. Okay, so this is the Mulloway that we're about to test. Let's load this up. So the Mulloway is reading at 7% THC and 2% total CBD. So the results of the Mulloway were as expected? Mm -hmm. Yes, roughly. Obviously there is some variance from plant to plant. I think even within multiple plants of the same strain, you will get variation. And different parts of the and, plant. Yeah, and how they grow. I've deliberately had our soil tested for heavy metals and it all came out clean. Okay, so now we're going through with the big lady. This one should give us the highest THC reading from our expectations so far. We were originally given the seed from a guy in Northern Rivers and he had no idea as to what breed it was. So it grew big, so it got called Big Lady. All right, big lady, let's see what you got. From what Will says, he's not shy of a big lady. Right, so that one is reading in line with your expectations. Yeah. And so that's reading at 13% THC, less than 2% CBD, with a moisture rating of 8.9%. That's what it should have been. Thanks for having us around to test your bud. It's great to see people taking advantage of the decriminalised framework here in the ACT and growing their own legal cannabis. I think you're a rather good grower who knows what they're <laughs> growing and rather good at it. We have a lot to learn. Having the ability to test bud for CBD and THC locally at any stage would be a major advantage to all growers in the ACT. Okay, so we're here at South Pacific Hemp and we found a new test subject of locally grown Canberra cannabis. This smells very, very strong. It smells like some of the strongest stuff that we've seen in Canberra or tested so far. Can you tell us anything about the strain name? Man, I just know that it's gelato. It's pretty fruity and it's got a kick. I wouldn't think it's like got the highest THC content, but it's just nice. It's all rounded. Terps play a big part in the strength too. Do you mind me asking how it was grown? Was this outdoor or? Like indoor. Is there a reason you prefer the hydroponic over doing something outdoor? Well, when it comes down to it, it's more control. Like, it's not that I prefer it. Like, outdoor under the Australian sun is awesome, man. Like, it's really hard to beat. But hydroponics, you can grow in the winter. You can grow them to whatever size you want. You can choose the flowering time. You can choose the vegetation time. A lot more control. What kind of results do you think it would get? Well, I reckon we're looking less than 2% CBD and probably early 20s. All right, well, let's chop it up, stick it in, and see how we go. Yeah. Exactly as you're expecting. So that's reading at a 22% THC, less than 2% CBD, and a moisture rating of 8.2. What do you think of those? Yeah, man, pretty bang on. You know, essentially what we're testing is two alkaloids of the plant. So you got THC and CBD, and those are just two of like 400 alkaloids in the plant. So that's good. That gives us a ballpark figure. But now I want to smoke it, taste it, effects, legs, see how long it goes, everything. It's good. It's fruity. You don't go back for it very often. Yeah man, it's really nice. Daytime smoke. Another thing too is not necessarily even hydroponic, even just being indoors, with indoor lights, a decent amount of, of circulation of air and ventilation, man, you can do some really amazing microbe soil mixes and hit stupid numbers, early 30s. And so you're one for the living soils and, and microbes? Love living soils, love microbes, man. Like, uh, hydro is the V8. Hydro is gonna get you there quick, it's gonna get you there big, but it's, you know, the really nice microbe soil grows are like a nice Sunday driver. It's got class. Cool. Yeah, man. Well, thank you very much for letting us test your stuff. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Cheers. Man. While cannabis has the potential benefits for many people, it's crucial to remember that it might not be for everyone. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope this has been informative. If you want us to come to your city, you want us to test your bud, drop us a message, drop a comment below, let us know. And uh, uh, like and subscribe.